From the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK4 News at 4. Today, we're continuing our COVID-19 talk segment with Dr. Wendell Powell of Baptist Health. He's joining us now with more on this. And that's our main focus today. What does the data mean for people who are still choosing a vaccine or someone who may have gotten the shot, which is now showing to be less effective? Is there a concern there? Oh, the reality is that coronavirus is like all the viruses mutate and uh, the Delta variant is a slightly different variant than the original corona, uh, uh, coronavirus. So the reality is that when you uh, design a vaccine to deal with one type of viral strain, there's gonna be a little bit different in resistances uh, to the different variants. The reality is that we're gonna end up probably having to have an annual booster of some sort and all the companies will adjust the the coverage for each individual variant strain as they come out. So it's just a sign that we're gonna end up having to uh, have annual boosters for a while. You know, there was a time when uh, not too long ago when we were all waiting for a vaccine, the vaccine showed up and then we were all getting in line to get it. Now the president announcing more vaccines being purchased for use abroad. Is this gonna have any impact on supplies here at home and the supply and demand that we're dealing with or are we looking like we're in a pretty good shape here in Arkansas at least? Um, I have to tell you, I love this state and I love this country and, and we are some of the most generous people on the planet. Uh, the, the reality is that uh, in this particular case, we can be both generous and uh, uh, appropriate. Right now, uh, certainly here in Arkansas, we have adequate supplies of the vaccine for anybody that wants to and is willing to get it. So although we can help our neighbors around the globe, uh, we have plenty to take care of ourselves right now. So don't put off getting the shot because you don't think it's out there or you don't want to be in line in front of anyone else. No, sir, please, if you're willing to take the vaccine, please please get your vaccine. Don't, don't worry about supplies, we've got enough. Encouraging people to get the, the vaccine, some incentives are being offered, uh, $100 for the dose of J&J, $50 for two dose shots. What kind of an impact do you see that, and incentives on people going out and getting the vaccine? Will that kind of get them off the fence? I don't know that it would necessarily get them off the fence, but there are some folks that have barriers to getting a vaccination that others don't. Uh, the reality is some people will have a day or two of feeling kind of crummy after they get the vaccine, and that might impact their ability to work, and they might have to miss a day or two of work, or perhaps they've got transportation or child care issues uh, that might be impacting their decision. So if there's something that we can do as a state and as a society to help offset some of those uh, those barriers to vaccination and make more people comfortable getting the, their vaccines, then I'm, I'm all for it. Get out and get it. All right, doctor, thank you very much. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Appreciate you having me. And certainly we want you to continue sending us your questions about COVID-19. Go to the KRK Facebook page and submit them and go to our pin post for COVID-19 talks. You may get an answer there or online.